Welcome back. I've already told my uh, panelists that that uh, first panel set a very high standard for us, so uh, we hope to keep uh, that high level going. Uh, mobilization of development finance for private sector development is one of the enduring themes of post-war U.S. foreign economic policy. President Eisenhower founded both the IFC and the IADB um, begrudgingly in both cases because Presidents Truman and Eisenhower believed that private investment would actually solve all economic development needs. President Eisenhower actually cut the foreign aid budget completely because he believed that foreign direct investment would solve all the capital flow needs of developing countries. And only begrudgingly did he create the IFC and then the IADB as mechanisms for trying to facilitate uh, that private sector development. Richard Nixon then tried to facilitate more private sector investment through OPEC. President Trump now trying to do it through the Development Finance Corporation, DFC. And so this is a very long uh, standing theme in U.S. foreign economic policy and U.S. diplomatic history. How do we unleash private sector investment in the interests of economic development? Well, today we're going to see if we're starting to crack the code because this panel is about new instruments for private sector development. Are we going to begin to unleash this capital in places where it has uh, failed to live up to expectations, as I say, ever since 1945. Are we going to begin cracking the code? So we have the perfect panel to address this. We're going to begin with Neil Gregory, who has my favorite job title ever, <laughs> Chief Thought Leadership Officer. I'm like so jealous of that job title. Love it. So um, Neil is going to start off by giving us a broad overview of DFI thinking in this space. Kruskaya Sierra Escalante is then going to speak about uh, blended finance and the promise and pitfalls of blended finance. Chris Walker from Mercy Corps is going to speak about some really fascinating work that Mercy Corps, and I think surprising work that Mercy Corps is doing with respect to impact investing. And uh, it's really exciting um, and innovative. And uh, Chris Marks is going to be the uh, uh, final speaker giving a private sector perspective. And Chris has just uh, done some amazing work uh, in this space, again, very innovative, that does give promise that maybe we're advancing the ball in this space. I do want to give a particular shout out to Chris uh, Marks, who's really one of the godfathers of this event and the research community that we've created. Chris, you were at Princeton, was it a year ago about, or even more? A little more, uh, speaking about some of his work. And we had subsequent discussions, and that's what made the light bulb go off in my head that maybe Princeton could be a hub of activity in this space, and that led to discussions with uh, Atif and Ronnie and others around campus who shared that view. So again, Chris, uh, you really did plant the seed, and um, thank you so much for doing so. Without further ado, Neil Gregory. Thank you. 